going on everyone? It's Brayden with Jacoji Fine Jewelry, Shore Personal Jeweler. David wants to know, hey Brayden, when will the two millimeter heavy links be back in stock? Also, do you plan on bringing in tri-color cubits anytime soon? Lastly, if it's not too much trouble, could you do a video on how you would two chain a round chain and a link chain? Excellent questions. We're gonna focus on that two chaining, the round chain versus the link chain in this video. With that being said, Let's get started. As I love doing these types of videos, these videos were the first types of videos I was doing on this channel, so it is good, but I say that because this isn't the know-all be-all. I'm not the guy to make the decision for you. At the end, it is about what you want, what you have to work with, the style you want. I'm just offering suggestions based on what I like and what I personally wear. Speaking of that, let's roll the B-roll. This is my everyday setup. I have a three millimeter, 18 karat gold, 20 inch Jacoji link and I two chain it with my OG original, my favorite piece of gold jewelry, the five and a half millimeter 22 inch flat curve. Now I like this look. Now usually I'm gonna say that you go rounded link on the bottom because they look bigger but there's such a big difference in width between a three millimeter Jacoji link and a five and a half millimeter flat curve that at the end of the day when you're looking at this shot the five and a half lack flat curve looks a lot bigger. And that's my general suggestions. I always like to go a little shorter when you're going with smaller chains like I did with the three millimeter Jacoji link, but I paired that after I was going around my favorite chain, the five and a half flat curve. So I added a smaller chain up top. And when I wear them out, when I two chain, this is the type of look you want. So you kind of have to base it off what you're working with or what chain you really like. But usually I'm gonna say go with the rounded chain below as kind of that statement chain because rounded chains look bigger than the flatter chains. But if there's such a big difference, you could do whatever you want just like I did here. Now let's go with a really nice setup. We got the four millimeter Miami Cuban link at 20 inches and then the five millimeter rope at 22 inches. I show this because the rope chains always look bigger than any other style chain out there. That's what they're known for. So you have a nice setup here. Again, there's a difference there. You have the slight variance difference in the chains, but it looks great. It doesn't matter that the Miami Cuban link is flat and the rope chain is rounded. You kind of see the difference on my neck. The rope chain just lays a little more out there and the Cuban link is more flush to the chest, but it looks good because of that difference. This is what two chaining is all about. This is why you watch these Jacoji videos to kind of get an understanding and to see what you like. Now let's bump it up a little bit with that Cuban link, the five millimeter Miami Cuban link, very popular chain at a very popular length, 22 inches with a five millimeter rope at 24 inches. These style chains are pretty similar in size. The five millimeter Miami actually is wider than this five millimeter rope. I'll show it in my hand, you guys can kind of see. Um, it's a little bit wider, but when you two chain them, the five millimeter rope still works really well. You can get technical and be like, hey, that rope is a little smaller than the Miami Cuban link. Shouldn't you not do that? But when you're wearing it like I am, it's a great look. I kind of like to have a little width difference when I'm layering chains, but if you like what you like, you got a five millimeter Miami Cuban link, you want to go with the ever so popular rope, then you could get this look and it doesn't make a big difference because that smaller, technically smaller rope still holds its own. Now, this last shot is what I would avoid personally. And again, this is a YouTube video. I'm telling a story. We have a good, we have a bad, we'll tie it up. We'll all be happy by the end of this video. Is this look right here. You got that thicker chain, the five millimeter Franco 20 inch paired with a thinner chain, the four millimeter 22 inch Miami Cuban link. When you're talking about layering chains. Now, if you had a cross or a pendant on that Miami Cuban link, it would look flawless. It would look excellent. Nothing wrong with that. But if you're just two chaining, that layering is just a little bit backwards. In my opinion, that's just my opinion. I would not wear this setup regularly. I would not do it. I would just figure something else out because I don't like the thicker chain up top and then a thinner chain down below, especially if the down below is that flatter style and that, that thicker chain is really just standing out. I would rather just wear just a solitaire thicker chain because it just fights for attention. My personal opinion and that is it. So I would avoid this look unless you are planning on parent pendant. But at the end of the day, guys, when you see this, if I saw you in the street, if you asked me your opinion, it's not that bad. It still looks good. Honestly, it's just if you're really trying to layer right the Jacoji way, I would avoid this look right here. At the end of the video, it's all about your preference. I might be the only one out there with a three millimeter, 20 inch Jacoji link and a five and a half millimeter, 22 inch flat curve. Does it mean it's not good because everyone's not wearing it? No, it's what I love. It's my preference and I think it looks great. That's all that matters. There's not one troll in the comments that's gonna tell me elsewhere because 
I love this setup and that's all that matters. Stick to the basics, know what you like, shop Jokoji to ensure you got the best quality chains and you'll be fine. I promise that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on our next jewelry video.